kids from the Gecko School in Talang undertook a stupendous challenge recently, a 100km cycle trip to the JW Marriott in Kaolang. We're going to Taiji, Japan to help try and stop the slaughter and capture of dolphins there. We're going to do a 100km bike ride tomorrow to raise enough money to go to Taiji, Japan. Just we don't just do that, we go we went to um Villa Market and sell some of our stuff um last Friday. Yeah. Yeah, and we got kind of a lot of money. We're starting from here, Gecko. And Every 20 kilometers, we're going to have a break. And we're riding all the way to the DW Mary in Calais. We first got involved when I read on Facebook that there was going to be a dolphinarium opening in Phuket. And then through a friend of a friend, we heard that Vicky had moved to Phuket. So we asked her to come and talk to the children. And the night before, we actually watched the cove ourselves at home. And then the next day, we gave all the children the choice if they wanted to watch it. And all of them did. And then Vicky came and then children at Gecko do uh, community passion projects and a group of them decided to do that as their passion project and it really just took off from there and uh, the children spoke at the AmCham uh, conference at Laguna and it was that night that I thought well I've just got to go here I am teaching these kids uh, what to do and I've got to go see it for myself so it was only myself going and then I went to school on Monday and told the kids that I was going to go uh, to the Cove and then they started saying if they could come, and I said yes, thinking not one parent would let their children come. <laughs> and well, we've got eight or well, six kids from Gecko and two others from Gecko community who are coming, so it's great. Our message is going to be to the, t the mayor of Taiji that Phuket does not want, why don't we want dolphins, dolphins yeah. from Taiji or from anywhere, right? So this is their main message. So they're going to deliver a letter to the mayor of Taiji um, and basically telling him that we do not want Taiji dolphins in Phuket. Okay. And also that and the ultimate goal is to end, end captivity and slaughter globally. So um, no, I'm really proud of them. They've really worked so hard. I'm, they've blown me away with their ambition and dedication. The group heading to Kaolak were joined by dozens more on the first 20 km section of the ride, from the school to the JW Marriott Phuket. <laughs> Where they were met by GM Oriel Montel and CSR director Sean Panton. <laughs> who were eager to introduce them to another ecological endeavour. JW Marriott's Turtle Foundation is renowned for its work to protect our shaddy friends from my cow. Now the resort has gained permission to set up its own turtle shelter on the ground. And the Gecko Kids help GM Oriel break ground for this new project. After that, it was back on the road to complete their mission. Each of the children hoping to go to Tai Chi needs to raise 50,000 baht to cover the costs of airfare and accommodation in Japan. But with a 100km bike ride behind them, they've proved that they're willing to work for it. We wanted to make rocks, so we decorated rocks and we gave them to Vicky to bring back to Tai Chi and throw them in the cove. So, because this time we are going to Taiji, so another way to get money is we ask people that can they make a rock? They could design a rock or we could design a rock for them and we're gonna bring it to the cove and throw it in the water for them. We don't want Dolphinarium in Phuket because we can see dolphins in the wild instead of in a little pool being fed dead fish like every day to do tricks. Dolphins are supposed to eat live fish and dolphins don't get to swim as much as they can in the wild and I think it's bad because dolphins don't like screaming people and everyone 
thinks the dolphins are having fun, but they're not. If you'd like to help the kids get to Taiji, visit the GoFundMe page on the screen now or contact Tracy Harper at the Gecko School.